Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on over receiving a purchase order and how to handle it. So to get started we'll create a purchase order. And we'll add an item. And quantity 10. We'll take it off hold. And our demo instance requires approvals. So I'll approve this. Okay, so now we have this purchase order. So what I'll do is I'll take this purchase order number in the clipboard and I'll go to my receive and put away screen and I'll receive this. So the first thing after I enter the purchase order, Acumatica creates a purchase receipt to get this process started. So the next thing I need to do is scan my item, which I'm just going to enter. I'll put the location in that we're going to be receiving it to. I'll set the quantity. And instead of receiving a total of 10, I'm going to change the quantity to 30. Now, Acumatica asks me, the message is incorrect here, but it wants to know if we want to over receive and add a new line for the additional quantities. The quantity number is incorrect here. But I'm going to say OK or click OK. So now we've received a second line of 20 items. So I'll release this. And we're good to go. So now if we go back to our original purchase order, one of the new features or the last few versions is we have this PO history, which gives us on the left side our receipts and on the right side all the bills that are the result of the receipts. So if we open up our purchase receipt for the purposes of entering the bill, a couple of things here. First off, you notice there's quantity 10 here and received 10 here. But right from the receipt, you can see that this one was an anomaly. So when we go into our bill, and we look at our bill, if we configure our columns the benefit will be that when we get our bill and we start entering it in and we get our bill number that we can clearly see that there's one line here that there was no PL for so this gives us the ability to call up the vendor and negotiate and say well you know you send us additional quantities here um, what do you want us to, to pay for this? What, what can we pay for it? And you can maybe negotiate for the additional quantities. Uh, there are many industries where they produce items for an order and they always end up with extras. But those extras are generally treated at a different unit price. So maybe this is $200. So you can make that adjustment here after talking to the vendor or you already have a negotiation. So the vendor's already indicated it, but you just need to verify that everything is correct. Take it off hold and release it. Now once again, if I refresh my PO, I can see the purchase receipt, but now I can see the bill as well, which is open, it needs to get paid. So that's how we handle over receiving. You can do it in Acumatica, there's no problem there. The vendor itself has preferences as to how to handle it. Under your purchase settings, there's a max receipt threshold. So Acumatica will let you receive up to 100%, but if you get over that, it'll give you a warning. But you have options to control this too. So you could reject this at the vendor level if you don't want the warehouse to over receive. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you.